with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Okay, first of all, uh, the area of operations is going to entail Boulder and Missouri. Here on the uh, computer map, inside the circle, you can see the who, what, where, when, and why is on 5 April 97. Officers from Southeast Area Command will conduct a reversal operation to catch individuals stealing bicycles from this location of Boulder and Missouri. Take down three is going to be Sergeant Sutton and his partner, Kevin Warren. They're going to go 591. Okay, just for information, the, the bike we're going to be using is a Black Trek 8000. Value at replacement is $699 plus tax. It's enough money to make this a grand larceny. Okay? Hey, today we're going to be conducting an undercover operation involving the theft of bicycles. The area we're working in, we're going to be conducting this operation in has been taking a lot of hits, stolen bicycles from convenience stores. So what we've done is we've set up officers in a perimeter around a uh, convenience store, and uh, we're going to maintain the, uh, the eyeball on the objective and set a bicycle out and see if someone's going to take it. Um, and typically that's what happens here is you leave your bike out and go in for a carton of milk and come back and it's gone. Okay, let's watch. Keep our eyes on this uh, male and female here out in front of the store. 638. Come with landline me. Can you landline us, please? Baseball cap. There she is, right? She's looking all over for him. He's kid in maroon's coming back. He's looking a lot over good, isn't he? Yeah, I wonder if he spotted us. This is good. Okay, we have a bust, bust, bust in the maroon shirt. It's a bust. He's over by the cleaners. He's moving at a fast rate. Coming, at Coming you, to the back of the store, Randy. Back of the store. Come on, let's go, okay, guys. He's going out. Out onto Boulder. He's going to run. Nope. Come on. Come on. Hands back. Good job, guys. Hey, this was a quick one. He just... I'm telling you, it was quick. Good job, gang. All right, let's get him up. Up, 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 up. Let's get him out of here, guys. Come on, guys. Any weapons in you? Seven. How old are you? Huh? How old are you? Okay. Got a knife. What do you got to say? That oh. chick said, uh, that's her bike. What? She gave me that room key to take it to her house. The, 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 the what chick? That chick, man. Across the way, dude. She did me, dude. Never mind. No, what do you got to say, man? Well, I, now's the time. She did me, dude. Who? She told me to take that bike to her. All right, but then. So it was hers, dude. I don't go back to the joint, man. Okay. You don't know who she is. I just met her, man. I wanted to what look, apartment? A little bit of What apartment? See the keys right there. They took it from me. What were you going to do with the bike? Huh? I was going to take it to her house. Give me the key. Okay. And sell it or what? I mean... I was going to drop it off, man, and come back and wait Just for her. give it to her. Huh? Just give it she to her. She said it was her bike, man. Do you think she's going to tell the same story? No. Once you face the car and just spread your legs, okay? Spread your legs. Spread your legs. What's Sandy? Sandy. Just like that. You go grab her now. Hi. I haven't done nothing. Hey, listen. Listen up. I'm Sergeant Sutton from Las Vegas Police Department. I'm going to advise you of your rights, yes, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before we ask you any questions. Do you understand your rights? Yes, sir. Have you heard them before? Yes, sir. You've never heard your rights before? 
you ever been arrested before? Are you serious? Me? Okay. So, how did this guy get possession of your key? He, he goes, can I use, can I go to your room and get a drink? And I said, yeah. And I handed him my key. I said, I'm going in the store. And I, I, all I know is his name is Steve something. Did you pay for that meat? No, sir. Did you take your baby in while you were stealing that meat? No, sir. What did you do with the baby? That's all I done was take that meat. I needed to feed my baby. I needed to eat. Your baby's going to eat that? Your six-month baby's going to eat this steak? No, sir. I was going to sell him so I could buy him some formula. Uh-huh. All right, tell me about the bicycle. What bicycle? I don't have a bicycle. Well, I know you don't have a bicycle. But you were with the guy when he took the bicycle. Who took from the bicycle? The guy you were with, you gave the key to. I didn't tell him, to, I don't know anything about no bicycle. How old's the baby? I have money to support my son. Where's the money my to support job, your son? My job is just, I could go on welfare if I wanted. You got warrants? Yes, sir. <laughs> For what? Uh, uh, violation of probation. What are, you on, what are you on probation for? Possession. Nine years ago. Okay. Yeah, please, no, y'all are going to take my baby. That's why I lied. I love my son. I believe you do. It happened seven, nine years ago, and I've been in trouble ever since because Mike won't let me. He won't help me. Because what? His father won't help me. That's why you've been in trouble? Because he beats me up and he uses y'all against me because he knows I have a warrant. So he won't let me, he won't help me get it cleaned up or nothing. Okay. All right. Negative, triple. Here's your son. You got a beautiful baby here. I love you. All right. Mom is so sorry. You got a beautiful baby here. I only knew how to do the right thing for him. I did. Yeah. I had to take care of him on my start. own since he was born. Okay. Since he was even conceived. I understand that, okay? But his, you need to think his more. His father has a lot of money and he, he won't even help okay. him. Okay. Or help me. That's. You need to think more about your baby than anybody else, okay? <laughs> This is the number one thing in your life right now, he is. okay? But by lying to the police and trying to cover up who you really are does not help anything. Oh. <laughs> She's wanted for probation violation for drugs. She's got a no bail warrant. So she's gonna go to jail and the baby is gonna go to Child Haven and we'll try and find a decent home for the little guy. Um, this uniform's our bicycle patrol uniform and our squad uh, performs both patrol functions in patrol vehicles as well as uh, the bicycle patrol function. Our uniform for the bikes, we've got the yellow shirts, it's basically for visibility when we're on the roads. Um, and uh, shorts obviously uh, due to the fact that we are on bikes and uh, need a little more mobility that way. I'm northbound on Dyke from Bonanza. You've got it. Okay, uh, it's occupied two times. Uh, we're gonna go on to uh, Carter. Okay. Okay, what we've got is a stolen license plate hit on this truck. Uh, it's out of Arizona. We don't know if the vehicle's stolen or not, but it's coming out as a stolen plate. Control 3 yellow. He's turning on to Carter Circle and Carter. I'm going to pull him down here. Oh, I copy. <clears throat> Shut the car off! Step out of the car. Step back to me, slowly. You see your hands. Hands in the air. Shut that door. Step back here. Just put your hands on the hood of the car for me. What's her name? Patty. Patty. Step out the driver's side. Come back to the car. What's the matter? What is your name, sir? David. David? Yeah. Dave, here's what I want you to do. I want you to turn around. Okay, back up towards me. Place your hands behind your back, please. Thank you. License plate on the truck are stolen. Now, before we go up to the truck or do anything, is there anything illegal that would be in that truck that we might find? Like guns, narcotics, knives, just pocket knife or something? Or? No, I got a nine millimeter gun in there. Okay, is it registered to you? No, sir. Whose gun is it? It's registered to a guy that I bought it from in New Mexico. Okay, stay right there.
Now well, we've got a billy club. David, where's the gun at? Under the seat. Okay, let's get on the other side. Ah, uh, guess what? Oh, this would be marijuana. This gun even works. Ladies and gentlemen, you are under arrest for possession of controlled substance. You need to understand something in the state of Nevada, okay? We have zero tolerance when it comes to the narcotics, okay? There's no legal amount of marijuana. There's no legal amount of any kind of controlled substance in this state, okay? What's going to happen? Okay, listen real quick, all right? Before I talk to you some more, we're going to ask some questions about this stuff. So, real quick, when was the last time you used methamphetamine? A week ago, a day ago, an hour ago, two hours ago? Never. Never used methamphetamine? Are you positive? Turn look me over this way. Turn all the way this way. No, out of the sun. Okay, that's good. Never used methamphetamine? Never in your life? Are you positive? Yes or no? Are you positive? Yes or no? Maybe tried it? Does her parents know she's with you? Yes or no? I'm, I don't know. You don't know? Do you Did think? She, yeah. You think they know? Yes. Are they going to have a problem with her being with you? I don't think so, no. They shouldn't. At this point, you're not showing as a runaway. They're going to get a hold of mom and dad and uh, find out what's going on with you. But right now, you're going to get booked as chins with just child needed supervision, and uh, you will stay there until they ascertain what they're going to do with you as far as parents go and things like that. Okay? He's going to be going to Clark County Detention Center. He's going down there for a one felony and like three misdemeanors. Okay? Okay. And you guys will have to hook up sometime uh, later in life, I guess, whenever he decides or they decide what they're going to do with him. Okay? What's that, dude? I can't believe it's a felony. It's a felony for a little bit of dope. Hey, come over here. Welcome to Nevada, my friend. Okay? <laughs> we don't, uh, we don't tolerate that. Especially, I mean, if you really wanted me to go bad, we got a gun and dope together. Okay? Anything else? Okay. Hang on tight just for a second until we, uh, talk to my partner here. Do you want to run her and I'll run him? Yeah, it's out, just the run in the front. Okay, you want her in the front there? Yeah. Okay, young lady, come back here, please. You want me to swap cuffs? No, Dave, you stay there. We're coming with her right now. Okay, Dave, just go to the center of the car for me, right there by the bumpers, please. Step back to this car, you're going to ride with this officer here. Can I give him a kiss goodbye? Can you give him a kiss? Please? I don't know if you're supposed to be in love, so I don't want to do that. Your mom might, you know, get me in trouble. Let's go. I'll put you up front, okay? I don't have a cage in this one, so... Okay, I'm gonna move the gator in. Hold on a second. Sit tight. Got an extra one. <laughs> I wish. I'm thirsty too. Take a seat. Watch your head. Got a seat belt in. Okay. Okay. Watch your legs, arms, head, and everything else. Be at 16 West End of Anna Road. You need to understand the state of Nevada. One seed. One seed is a felony. They're gonna legalize pot. Why do you think they should? Why do I think they should? Yeah. Because it's a good recreation. It's good recreation. It's good recreation. Look, you're, yeah, you get stoned. You don't feel like going out and stealing nothing. You're not going to, you don't, it's not a violent drug. It's not as bad as alcohol is worse than uh, pot as far as I'm concerned. You huh. get drunk, your brain is clouded. You can't drive. You could smoke an ounce of weed you and you can me? drive way better than Are you, you sure? drive <laughs> it without, yeah, I went. You, you think you can drive better after you get done drinking I, a 12-pack? I have no idea. I have no idea. You better need, oh, you never probably got high. I don't drink. Yeah, I don't, I've never been high. <laughs> well, let me tell you firsthand, you can. You can drive high, huh? Yeah. It doesn't impair your ability to drive nearly as much as alcohol, and alcohol is legal. That's what I'm trying to right. say. Yeah, oh, I, you know, exactly. alcohol is a problem. I've been a cop in Las Vegas for almost eight years now. This is the only place I know of where you can go at two o'clock in the morning, go do your grocery shopping, go to the bank, uh, get your dry cleaning done, go to a movie. Two o'clock in the morning. You know, most towns, sidewalks roll up at nine o'clock at night or eight o'clock at night. Um, here, if you want a gourmet uh, 
meal at three o'clock in the morning, you can go somewhere and you can get it done. They're going to be needing transport in the next few minutes at Valley. Okay, we're responding to a local uh, trailer park. A male called up stating that uh, he's accidentally shot a friend of his in the leg. Uh, we don't know the extent of injuries or exactly what the rest of the details were on this. Which one is it here? 45, 80, there we go. We're looking for uh, space number 10. What's going on? I don't know. We don't know where the weapon's at yet. That, that's it right there. Where's the weapon? You got some ID on your phone? Get that in my wallet. Oh. You went in and out, and it's over there somewhere. So you got a cat. Oh. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I didn't even know. Was Just squeeze your leg you right here, tonight. right up on top of the leg. Stop your bleeding a little bit. All right. Oh, don't do that, man. Okay. I'm sorry. I did it for like ten minutes. You did it three guys, times okay? already. Stopped. I'm just so freaked out. I can't believe it. This is my son here. Okay. Which one? The one that's injured? Or the yeah, other sir. One? yeah, sir. Yeah, sir. Yeah. Okay. What type of gun is that? It's like a It was like a. Yeah. Russia, Russian nine. What happened? Give me a pet. Well, there was no clip in it, and I just like pulled the trigger, and it went off. Where were you at? You were sitting over here on the couch. Sitting right there. Where was he sitting? Right there. It just went off. Man, it just blew my mind. I couldn't believe it, man. How much did you have to drink tonight? I had like three beers tonight. You know what time it is right now? It's about 10:30, 11. Is the gun registered to you? Yes, sir. He was sitting right there when it yeah, went off. Yeah. And I was sitting right there. So should the impact should have went right in here somewhere. Why? Why was the gun out? Why were you handling it? Uh, I just, you know, was looking at it here. Oh, there it is right there. They were arguing about a loss of battery to the remote. And I was sitting in the chair, and all of a sudden I heard click, 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 four, and then fifth one, I heard a pop. Mm -hmm. And then I opened my eyes, and Josh was still there, and Everything was still you had, there. You had your eyes closed when you were hearing all this stuff, or? No. I mean, I wasn't watching each of them individually, but when it uh -huh. happened, I was like, you uh -huh. know, because accidents happen like that, you know, right. sometimes. And, and then I was like, whoa, he actually, whoa, a bullet came out. Uh -huh. I don't know why a bullet came out. I honestly do not know why a bullet came out. Because you heard four clicks and then it went bang. That's yeah. why it went. I have no idea why, why a bullet came out because Gary would never hurt his son. He loves mm -hmm. Josh like the world. But he, he's saying what happened was that uh, the son, who's 15 years old, got in a fight with Dad. Dad grabbed a gun and uh, the 15 year old got around, clipped into his leg. From what I understand, there's some blood spatter on the on the gun itself so if that's the case and it had to be a contact type wound and they certainly couldn't do that from 12 feet away no that's all right you care if i get my hat yeah no. I do care. Go ahead. Put, let me have the cigarettes you're not going to use them anyhow if you're not going to use them anyhow step outside step outside no problem yeah Who's transporting anyhow? You're gonna transport? Okay, let me have your cuss. Wait a minute, wait a minute. No, 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 no. No, no, he just dropped some, dropped some what? paper. No, he just I dropped didn't. Oh, yeah, you did. that was nice. That was really good. Oh, you didn't, huh? That was real nice, guy.
I dropped nothing. You didn't I drop got... anything? I got no, a scanner right here. I didn't drop anything. Right, please, that's okay. awful tight. Yeah, I know. Well, they're not no, built for you don't, to, you don't have to go over there and drop this stuff like right in front of my face, okay? Like this one right here? I really don't appreciate right that. Right there? The yeah, that's yeah, right. Fine. Okay, sir, you're being arrested for felony child abuse. Oh, come on. Endangerment for shooting your son in the calf with that gun. You've been drinking. There's no reason for you to hold that weapon in the first place. You're lucky you didn't kill him. And as we're bringing you out here, you have enough nerve to go ahead and drop a hypodermic device right in front of us and act like it wasn't yours. Right in front of no, me. Sir, it's not it came mine. out of your left hand. No, sir. Yes, it no, did. Sir. I sit there and watched it. Take fingerprints on that thing. Don't <laughs> need to. That's not my don't need to. My well, eyeballs going to jail, saw it sir. all right out your hand. No. But anyway, that's just an extra charge. Not mine. Go ahead and put him in the car. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and, and do the father for felony child endangerment. Uh, no one likes to see someone get shot, but at least in this instance, it was it was just a flesh wound. It went through and through. Uh, he's going to be able to recover from, from the injury. And hopefully we're going to be able to do something as far as getting him out of that environment with, with that father. You know, we'll have to see what, what happens with the courts. 132 in Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, covers code 3. Thanks, Ted. Get a 25, 14, 10, transmit on tag 2. Okay, we'll still send a code 3. 